Okay, we're going to give you a tour of 603 East 3rd Street. And now we're going to enter the front door. And the first thing you'll see is an open staircase to a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home. Here we have an open staircase and to a four bedrooms upstairs, two full baths upstairs. And on the main level to the left, we have a formal living room. We have beautiful hardwood floors. We have crown molding at the top. And we have a freshly painted home, which is very nice. Neutral colors for anyone to move into. It's got a nice wide entryway, so when you have guests, you have plenty of room to say hello and goodbye without anybody getting in anyone's way. We're gonna to move to the right of the house now, and this is a formal dining room. So okay, now we're moving to the formal dining room, which has got new windows on the front. It's got a tray ceiling, new light fixture, and again, beautiful hardwood floors. It's very open and roomy. And the formal dining room leads in to the kitchen and the half bath. Here's the first floor laundry room that goes directly into the garage. It's a mud room. We have ceramic floors on the floors. We have nice cabinetry above the washer and dryer. And then right across the hall is a half bath for guests. And if you have an emergency and you have to run in from the garage, it makes it nice and handy. Now we're moving into the eat-in kitchen, formal dining room, or, or uh, first floor family room. We have plenty of uh, cabinetry in the, in the kitchen, and we have an island in the center. We have stainless steel appliances and three pendant lights. We've got a neutral, uh, backsplash which is beautiful with the cabinetry and then there is also an eat-in area in the kitchen it's ceramic floors and then there's a pantry and a desk Okay, we also have a pantry and a built-in desk in the kitchen. And then our kitchen leads to a first floor family room. It's got granite around the fireplace. It is a gas fireplace, so with a remote, so it makes it very convenient in the winter if you've got a chill. And note up on the ceiling, it's got a newer ceiling fan and it's got crown molding. So it just gives it that little bit of extra. I want you to note that they have transom uh, window above each door on the main level, which adds extra lighting, a lot of natural light in this house, which is good. And then the whole main level has had replacement windows and we're gonna kind of pan back to the backyard we have a sloping backyard that goes into the woods and so you have all woods behind you so in the winter time when it snows it's like winter wonderland and then in the summertime it gives you that extra privacy when you're enjoying your deck to just enjoy it yourself without having extra company the neighbors all right in the kitchen, you'll notice that there's stainless steel appliances and the kitchen is wide open to the first floor family room. So you can be cooking dinner, someone can be doing homework at the kitchen table, and then you can be watching the kids as they're watching TV. 
and if it's a cool evening or a cool morning and you need just a little bit more, you can turn on the fireplace and have a little extra heat. We have a beautiful deck, sliding glass doors from the kitchen going out to the deck and the deck is done in the truck decking so you don't have to restain every year, redo every year. It's just ready to go, which is very nice. And they have built walls. Now we're looking at the rear yard of 603 East 3rd Street in Coal Valley. And as you can see, it's had extensive landscaping that you don't have to do, you just get to enjoy. So we've had a stone wall built and it slopes down into the woods. It's well maintained, it's easy to mow and easy to maintain. Okay, now we're going downstairs of a walkout basement at 603 East 3rd Street, Coal Valley, Illinois. And you come down about seven stairs, you have a landing, you turn, and you've got about five more. All right, that is the landing coming down to the walkout basement. And then, as you can see, it opens up to a really nice second family room. There are four windows down here and a sliding glass door to a patio, so you don't feel like you're in a basement. It's very light and bright, yet it's all plastered. It has white trim, white doors, and very tastefully done. I'm gonna tell him it stays. All right, so this is an additional part of the rec room and it obviously has enough room for a pool table to be able to shoot on both sides. It's got a nice light above it. It's got a big double closet at the end with a refrigerator down there. And now we're gonna walk past the pool table and we are going to show you the full bath downstairs. And now we have a full bath down at this end, which makes it nice for company. And we have a tub and a shower. we have a nice newer hot water heater and then we'll move to the furnace and the furnace is energy efficient and you notice that it goes out with a PVC pipe and we have dates for all of the improvements that they have done to this house. This house also has a Culligan water softener system which is very nice and stays with the home. Okay again we have about seven stairs to a landing and then another seven going up and we had noted one time about the transom windows above the doorways that's above the dining room and above the living room and into the kitchen and into the family room on the main level again that adds a lot of natural light okay we're walking into the master bedroom. We have uh, tray ceilings. We have uh, two windows to the front, three windows to the front for a lot of natural life. The front of the house faces west. And as you can see, as you can see, 
as you can see I want you to note that ceiling how high it goes up so you've got a lot of height in your master bedroom and then down we go to that bed which is a king bed with two large nightstands and a chair on the side. This has got ample room for um, plenty of furniture, big furniture, or big people. Okay, now we've got the master bathroom. It's got ceramic tile floor, a double vanity, a large mirror, and the vanity is a tall vanity for you tall people. It, they just feel better. We don't have to bend over as much. And we've got good lighting. We've got a jacuzzi tub. And then we've got a wonderful walk-in shower, ceramic shower. It's all been tastefully redone. It's got nice colors and it's got a separate stool area which i call the throne for those men and we can shut the door shut the door and then we have a huge walk-in closet which is wonderful and she'll pan around in there so that you can see how much shelving and how many you know it's got the two layer so that you can hang lots of clothing which is very very nice see a lot of natural light there are three windows to the front they have been replaced and it's facing the west sun which makes it very nice now you're looking down the hallway of the upstairs four bedrooms and we're going to scan over and show you these 24 foot ceilings from the first level to the second level and the beautiful light in the entryway and the beautiful window at the front of the home that brings again in a lots of natural light that comes into the hallway of the upstairs and the main level. Technically this is a fourth bedroom but they are currently using it as an office and it does have a closet in it. They have two large desks they have um, s uh, several pieces of furniture in here and then they've got two windows to the east side of the home to the backyard. This is our other full bathroom on the upper level of the home and it's right next door to a bedroom. So if you have guests, they barely open their door and can go right into that full bathroom. And this is another bedroom upstairs it's a nice size and it features double closets and she's going to pan around so that you can see the closets also. This, this is the second largest bedroom on the upper level. And she's got a queen bed here, two nightstands, double dresser, um, another piece of furniture, and a jewelry box. Plus, there's a walk-in closet that we're going to feature you just in a moment. It's been freshly painted gray, and the uh, floor coverings are newer. Then we have a walk-in closet, which is very nice. If you have teenage daughters, this is a must and you've got good shelving plus you've got hanging up for the dresses for the long dresses to the dance and it's good storage even if you don't have children and you just have guests come in okay we're concluding our tour at 603 east third street in Covalley, illinois and i wanted to note this house sits on a cul-de-sac so if you have children that are small and you want to make sure they're safe, you know, no one but the neighbors come down here, so that makes it great. And I'm looking forward to showing you the inside of this home, so give me a call.